Well, it's fantastic to be here this morning at the Kalsashani Sikh Temple in Plumpton. Um, and it's fantastic to be here with our leader, Anthony Albanese. I think the first time Albo's uh, been in Victoria for six months, which says something about the time that we've been through, but it also says something about the optimism that we face the next few months with. Uh, this is a sign of us getting back to normal and it's really fantastic to uh, have Albo here again back in Victoria today and we really do look forward to a return to normality here in Victoria and uh, around the country. This return to normality is because of the efforts of those in Victoria, those in New South Wales doing what they need to do to go off and get vaccinated and showing a tremendous community spirit. And we see that community spirit right here at this temple. This morning we've been lucky enough to look around the temple, look at the, the food that's being made here. Tens of thousands of meals have been provided from the kitchens here to the communities during both the bushfires and the pandemic. And it says something uh, about the way in which the Sikh community are making such a fantastic contribution here. It's also wonderful to be here with our new candidate for Hawke, Sam Ray, and the new seat of Hawke. Uh, we're very excited about Sam's candidacy, about the contribution that Sam's going to make in Canberra, but much more importantly, the contribution that Sam will make representing the citizens of Hawke in our national government. So with that, let me hand over to the Labor leader, Anthony Albanese. Well, thank you very much, and uh, it uh, was fantastic to have the welcome from the Sikh community uh, here at Plumpton, uh, here in Victoria. It was an appropriate place for me to visit as my return to Victoria after six months, uh, because the Sikh community here have provided 180,000 meals during the bushfires, during COVID, and they're continuing to provide support for their community. And it also was terrific to be here just on the eve of Diwali. Diwali uh, commemorates the victory of lightness over darkness. And what we have here in Victoria is just that, a sense of optimism as Victoria opens up again. And that sense of optimism is something that I want to bring to government after the next election. And part of that optimism is having new members of the Labor team. And in Sam Ray, I've known Sam for a long period of time. Uh, he's passionate about making a difference. He's committed to this community, raising a couple of kids and his wife, uh, all committed to making a difference here in this community. He brings a great deal of political experience to our team, but also a passion to make a difference each and every day, particularly for those people who need a Labor government, those people who've been left behind by the coalition, whether it be their failure to keep wages up with the cost of living, whether it be their failure to secure vaccines, whether it be their failure to act on climate change. Uh, we have uh, Scott Morrison returning now from the Glasgow conference. Uh, last night, uh, he gave in his address to that conference an empty speech to an empty room. He had nothing to say of value compared with the challenge that the world faces from climate change. Uh, what we need is uh, global action and Australia should be a part of uh, that process rather than being a handbrake. But in the very disappointing announcement last week uh, where we had no new policies from our Prime Minister. And then the diversion uh, that occurred during his trip uh, to Rome and to Glasgow, where it was all about, all about the focus uh, about whether he was truthful in his dealings with uh, France and the United States and the way in which uh, selective information was given out, be they text messages which were private or whether they be uh, US government uh, information about briefings, uh, it's not an appropriate way to advance diplomacy and to advance Australia's interests on the international stage. Uh, diplomacy requires the building up of relationships and it's quite clear uh, that uh, the relations with both France and the United States 
uh, are not as good as they should be. Uh, Australia should always make decisions in our no own national interest. And we support the decision on submarines, but you've got to uh, deal with uh, other nations in a way that is appropriate, that doesn't damage those long-term relations. So I look forward very much to Sam being an important part of the team. Uh, if we're successful at the next election, uh, we will be the most experienced incoming Labor government in history. Uh, I've served as Deputy Prime Minister and as Leader of the Government in the House uh, for six years. We have a number of members who've served as senior members of the Cabinet. Uh, we have a number of members who've served as Ministers in the Government, but we also continue to refresh our ranks and Sam Ray's a part of that. I'm convinced he has a very big future as part of the Labor team in Canberra and I'm happy to launch his campaign here this morning. Thank you, Anthony. <clears throat> and good morning, everyone. Uh, it's uh, great to be here today. It's uh, wonderful to be here, of course, with Anthony and Richard. Thank you both for joining us. Uh, firstly, I'd like to pay uh, an acknowledgement to the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, the Wurundjeri people, uh, and uh, lend my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Uh, I'd also like to thank the guys here at Council Shoney for having us this morning. This is a wonderful organisation. Um, throughout the lockdown, as they always do, uh, these guys have made sure that the most vulnerable members of our community don't go hungry, and I appreciate that very much. I live in Riddles Creek with my partner Zoe and our two kids, and we love our community. Uh, but like all young families across Hawke, we want to know that our kids will be able to go to great schools. We want to know that our loved ones can access world-class healthcare when they need it. We want to know that there'll be good, well-paid, secure local jobs. And we want to know that we can access the road and public transport infrastructure that we need to get to work and get home safely and efficiently. My mum was a proud public school teacher and she taught me the value of good education and that every kid deserves the best chance at life. For those reasons, I'll be campaigning hard every day to win Hawke for the Labor Party and to elect an Albanese Labor government. Thank you.